Football Club and the referee gets us underway as Maroons Football Club try to hog possession here knocking on the door trying to look for inroads or DPO in the area but uh, the referee says he was offside. Sports Club Villa trying to pile pressure on the other end and uh, Dennis Ojara onto the ground. Dennis Ojara still setting up uh, colleagues here. David Owari sends a cut back inside and of course the shot there hits the woodwork and of course Hakim Mutebi there to make that goal count off a rebound and manages to spare time to direct that ball in the back of the net. Sports Club Villa now lead proceedings here after that wonderful strike by Hakim Mutebi but just looking at uh, Ronald Sechiganda's strike hitting the woodwork to fall back to the path of uh, Hakim Mutebi who just gave that ball direction into the back of the net. You could see he was properly placed to give uh, Sports Club Villa something to celebrate. 12 minutes into play and you can see the technical team all up on their feet as uh, the Jogos are now in flying blue colours as they get their first goal of this game. And of course that man, Hakim Mutebi, managing to power them forward. But all efforts were put on the table by that man, Dennis Ojara, to ensure that uh, the Jogos have their way in this game. The fans too definitely love what they see in the stands and celebrations commence up and about Joko still trying to get that ball inside you could see that Tonzima gets that ball to Dennis Ojera and of course a shot taken but uh, looks like he was offside Dennis Ojera took a turn and uh, took a strike but uh, the flag was already up Maroons Football Club knocking on that door themselves but uh, that ball is sent into Medici Virige Lutalo into a worry and uh, a worry was offside. And of course, you could see that uh, now they come flying forward and twisting and turning in the area. Shot taken and a rebound. Maroons Football Club managed to get something for themselves. But twisting and turning here. Good efforts done. But uh, Hadadi was the man to rebound that ball into the back of the net. And uh, Maroons Football Club look like they're giving us something for the, in this game. And uh, they managed to bring this game back to level terms. And uh, that man, Hadadi Kambugu, spares time to get that ball in the back of the net from a rebound after a goalkeeping mistake. And of course, uh, Maroons Football Club now surely show the signs of getting this ball on this game into their direction. But what a ball there, strike taken, but uh, just goes across. Still Maroons Football Club trying to improvise through Darius Ojok, but hit it away. And here they come, flying forward. And that shot taken, but Ivan Bogere cannot really pick out a proper pass. And here they come again, the Jogos. Ivan Bogere on the far side sends that ball into Hakim Motebi, who tries to get that ball in. But uh, of course, Dennis, <laughs> or Dennis Ojara was standing properly placed to guide that ball into the bottom corner. You could see that... Uh, he was waiting like he knew what was going to happen. And when that ball fell on his boots, he surely had to just uh, compose himself and take a simple touch. Uh, the new man, Dennis Ojera, starting to pay off the trust given to him by the Sabian man, Coach Dusan, and uh, scores that second goal for Sports Club Villa. Smiles all about in the stands, and he will be smiling his way all day. I mean, he's created one and managed to spare time for the other but uh, Maroons Football Club the halfway can't really get that ball past uh, Chibirige as uh, Maroons Football Club re-strategized now Ivan Bogere but uh, took a heavy touch and uh, didn't really put effort on to that ball to try and bring this game to normal see but uh, Sports Club Villa 2 Maroons Football Club 1 in this first game of the FUFA Super 8. Congratulatory messages come through for Coach Dusan, but for Maroons, definitely, it is a test they will have to correct next time.